Second Acts at verse number 30. Amen. I'm reading from the New King James Version of my God's Word. If you graduated from Sunday school or be to you, this passage won't be unfamiliar to you at all. Amen. Talk, talk. The Bible says from the New King James Version of God's Word, it says, Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Last time, then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. For the next few fleeting moments, I want to talk the thought uh, and the subject I see a little more. God, Father, we thank you for this moment in time. We honor you and we bless you for you giving us this privilege to hear and to share in your word. God, I pray now that you would circumcise our ears and our hearts that we might hear very closely and clearly what it is that you have to say. As always, God, I confess that I am nothing, but you are everything. God, I pray that you would make me until you made me what you want me to be. When you're done making me, God, I ask that you would use me until you use me up. For I am your instrument, and God, I pray that you would play me Because you got 
a foreign car. It don't matter if it's a Honda or not. You have become more than what you uh, than what you can be. But because because you live in a in a nice house, uh, you have settled for where you are, not realizing that you are still more than what you have become. Because you wear nice hats like this, this and Bridget, uh, you feel like you have arrived. But I'm here to announce to you that you are still more than what you have become. Because they gave you a nice little title at the church, and now uh, you got a parking spot, and somebody recognizes you when they call your name. You have settled for the place that you're in. But I'm here tonight to tell you that you are more than what you have become. Y'all not giving me the amen I need, so do me a favor. Maybe your neighbor will look at, will listen to you, and since they're not listening to me, look at your neighbor and tell them, say, neighbor, you are more than what you have become. Get 
Come on, you right. Come on. Ready to run. Fear, 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 is, fear is a distressing emotion that is aroused by impending danger. Watch this. Whether the threat is real or imagined. I ain't gonna get in your business, but how many of y'all are sitting in the pew right now and you are scared of an imaginary threat? Mm. Come on, it's the truth. It's the truth. I'm about, it ain't even happened yet, yeah. but you will pick up. You're so scared, you ain't waving your hand inside all night because you were scared of what's waiting on you when you get back home. It's somebody in here. You can give a good offer tonight because you were scared of the bill collector that's gonna call you on Monday that ain't even called yet. Some of us, some of us, we can't worship and we can't give God praise because we are scared that we're not gonna have a job to go back to Monday when you. Some of us, we spend all of our time in fear and petrified of imaginary threats. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're dealing with this thing called fear that oftentimes is based on an assumption. But here's the deal fear is real, but fear is also a decision. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean? Exactly. Because when when I feel fear, I get triggered. Look at your neighbor uh-huh. and say, neighbor, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Yeah. Don't act like you end up saying that. Some of y'all get on Facebook talking about I'm triggered. I'm triggered. <laughs> just saw this, and now I'm triggered. I just heard this, and now I'm triggered. Maybe you need to stop talking about Facebook, your problem. Yeah. Now I'm going to look at them. Oh, yeah. Talking to God about the giants in the land. And if you talk to God about the giants in the land, God can tell you what to do about the giants. Because I'm going to tell you, baby, when I see your post, all I can do is shake my head and get light. I can't <laughs> this is my own personal fight or flight revelation. This is what God gave me. When you when you are scared, I already told you what happens. You either you either run or you fight. When you are scared, uh, there is a, there is an emotion that triggers uh, in your body and it causes uh, a reaction from your from your flesh. It causes you to get power in certain areas. It causes your energy to rise. It causes your heart rate to increase. Come on, now. And so the problem is you. We take that surge of adrenaline that comes from fear, and we put that we put that energy and adrenaline into running. Yeah. Well, what would you say if I told you that you can put that same adrenaline in fighting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch this. Watch this. I need, I need you to favor. Help me, priest. Just say, Lord, give me, give me the strength to fight. Give me the strength to fight. Lord, give, give me the strength. Come on. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Come on. Just say, Lord, give me the strength to fight. I need you to give me the strength. Give, give, give me. Um, and you gotta understand that you have 
a surge of adrenaline that you can use to either run or fight. Watch this. And so the Bible helps us to understand that we cannot have big fruit without big fight because there are giants that are in the land. And so the Bible helps us to understand. But, uh, 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 physiology also helps us to understand um, that we can be triggered um, with this fight or flight reaction. This is the last thing I'm sharing with you. And then I'm getting out your way. Um, but God has instructed us that we are to have faith. Somebody shout faith. 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 Shout it again. Shout it like you mean it. Shout faith. 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 faith is our, our hidden secret weapon, if you will. Faith. faith is what we've been given to combat all of the tricks and traps and schemes of the enemy. Watch this. Faith is something that God has given us that we can hold on to when the enemy tries to put things in our line of sight that don't line up with what God said. Watch this. Um, it doesn't matter what I see that doesn't line up with what God said because I remember what he said and my faith is anchored in what God has already told me. And as long as my faith is anchored in what God told me, it doesn't matter what I see because I know what I know. Be still. Look at your name and 